You see, touching releases oxytocin, also known as the love chemical, a powerful bonding hormone that helps people feel more connected and builds trust. You need to touch her, but if you do it the wrong way or out of context or too much too soon, then it's gonna creep her out and she's not gonna like it. But on the other hand, if you don't touch her enough, it'll feel too platonic and you'll end up in the friend zone. So the key is to start small and work your way up and do it in context so that she feels comfortable and enjoys your touch and of course wants more. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man and here are 10 ways to touch a girl without creeping her out. Many boot camps encourage men to be assertive. A woman wants to be turned on. We've done all the testing, we know what works. Here are 10 ways to touch a girl, starting with more casual, platonic forms of touching and moving our way up to more intimate forms of touching because just like any form of escalating, you need to start small with where she's comfortable and slowly increase the intimacy over time as she becomes more and more comfortable with you. Before we get into the 10 ways to touch a girl, there are five rules that you must follow every single time you're touching a woman to ensure that you're doing it in a way that she absolutely enjoys, never makes her feel uncomfortable, or never creeps her out. So click the link down in the description. I put the link down there. Make sure to watch that video so you don't screw this up. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click that bell notification icon. Now let's get into the 10 ways that you can touch, starting with platonic, safer touch, and moving our way up to more intimate touching. Number one is greeting and saying goodbye. So every time you meet somebody for the first time, usually it's either gonna be a handshake, which is pretty platonic, nothing really special there, but if she's comfortable, you can hold her hand a few seconds longer than normal. A normal handshake is usually one, two seconds, and then you pull away. But if you can hold her hand one, two, three, four, five seconds as you're talking and making eye contact with her, even 10, 15 seconds, it's gonna create more of an intimate moment. But don't just hold her hand as she's pulling away. If she pulls away, let her pull away. Depending on the culture, you may also kiss her on the cheek. So if you're, especially if you're in South America or I guess Spain, France, and Italy, you would go for a kiss on the cheek. Also know if it's one, two, or three, depending on which country you're in. I actually sometimes, depending on the vibe of the interaction, will kiss a girl on the cheek, even if I'm in, USA or Canada, it just depends. It's actually a little bit more charming if you do it where it's not expected. But if you are in a country where it's expected, you definitely need to do it or she'll actually be a little weirded out. Like, why didn't he kiss me on the cheek? Was he afraid? And then of course a hug. If you had a great interaction with her and you're saying bye to her, then a hug would be the right thing to do. Now, the wrong type of hug is where you just kind of pat her back and like you don't even really touch each other and you stick your butt out like that, don't do that. If you're gonna give her a hug, embrace her, make sure it's a good hug. Now, when you meet a girl on a first date and you met off the internet, do not do a handshake. I've seen this before. It's very formal. Instead, even if it's your first time meeting, give her a hug. Don't be afraid to hug a woman for the first time. And if she kind of like seems a little uncomfortable, then just do a side hug like this. Next is conversational touching. So you're just talking and you may touch her arm or her shoulder for emphasis. Oh my God, the craziest thing happened, right? And you don't leave it there. Don't just, oh, the craziest thing happened. So let me tell you the story, <laughs> right? That's a little weird. Like she's like, why is his hand still there? So it's a very brief form of touching. Oh, the craziest thing happened. Or even while you're talking, notice I'm like talking with my hands right now, talking to you, my hands might touch her. I'll be like, well, really? Wow, that's crazy. Or I might say, so I was walking my dog the other day and he's so cute. Like, so notice it was just like this, like I just happened to be talking and our hands touched. It's no big deal, right? It's just natural, normal touch. You can touch guys like that, but over time it breaks that touch barrier and it increases the intimacy just a little bit. Next is unintentional touch, where you're just standing next to each other like this, and our arms are touching. So maybe we're at a bar and we're grabbing a drink. We're doing a shot together, right? Every time I do this, it's not like touching her. It's just unintentional. So you have to be very close, in very close proximity for this to happen. Either you're at a bar where the stools are near each other, or it's a crowded bar, or you're sitting on a couch, which is really good if it's a first date, sit on the couch, or you're sitting on two chairs that are really close to each other. 
Next is inquisitive or inquiring touch, which is where you just notice something about her and you make a comment about it. So if she has really nice hair, I might say something about that. You know, you have really nice hair. Be careful with hair, because <laughs> some girls, if it's like really done up or she has extensions, she might like not be into that. Same with earrings. So that could be very intimate if you're like, wow, those are really nice earrings. And you touch her ear or touch the earrings. But also be careful. Some women have a weird thing about their ears being touched. So that's a little bit more intimate. To be a little bit safer, start with the hands. Notice if she has anything on her hands. If she has cool nail polish, if she has a watch or bracelets or rings. In this case, she has a ring. So I'm say, oh, that's it. Cool ring. Thank you. Is there a story behind this? Oh yeah, it's my mom's. Next is corrective touching, which is where you correct something about her. It could be her outfit, it could be her hair, maybe her, you know, her hair is sticking out and you say, wait, hold on, your hair is sticking out just a little bit. Or if she has like one of those fuzzles in her hair or on her face, you could take it off for her. Now, if it's on her face, be careful. That's a lot more intimate. In fact, if a girl allows you to touch her face, that's a good indicator that she's probably okay with kissing you. Like if she's wearing a necklace and sometimes they get crooked, you could just fix her necklace. Hold on, hold on. Let me fix your necklace. Okay, good. Or if you notice her dress is a little crooked or her shirt's a little crooked, you could say, wait, hold on. Much better. I have even corrected women's posture because that's a big pet peeve for me. If a girl slouches, I will actually straighten her, be like, hold on, hold on. Okay, sure. there you go. Much better. So just be observational and just notice if there's something you know, that you could fix. And subconsciously, you're making her look better, which, I mean, what woman doesn't want that? Of course, she wants to look her best. Next is playful. You might be at a bar or at a date, and you're playing some games with her, making the date or the interaction more interesting and more playful, instead of just boring questions back and forth. So one example would be thumb wrestling. So if she doesn't know how to play, show her how to play. You count down, you try to conquer each other's thumbs. Oh no, she won. <laughs> Side note, make sure to win. You're the guy, you should be able to get her thumb down before she does. Another option is slap hands. Also bar games like billiards or pool, especially if she doesn't know how to play and you're really good at it, that's a great way. You can help her form, show her how to hold the stick. Even darts, like if she's throwing it all weird, you can help her, be like, I don't know. Here, you gotta hold it like this. Maybe even get behind her and get her to throw it the right way. Real quick, before you get back to the video, if you feel like you're not living up to your full potential in your dating life and other parts of your life, then let me help you out. Follow me on Instagram, Matt Artisan, and send me a DM, the word MENTOR, in all caps, and I will personally help you, give you feedback, and give you advice so that you can get this part of your life handled and attract the women you want. All right, let's get back to the video. Next is rewarding. If she does or says something that you really like, you might say, nice, high five. Or that deserves a hug, and you give her a hug. Or even, depending on where the interaction is, that deserves a kiss, and you could give her a kiss. Now, I know a high five might seem a little childish, but that's the point. Be a little childish, be a little playful. It makes things more fun and interesting. And even playing silly games and high-fiving, it brings the person to a more childlike state. And you know, who doesn't want to act like a kid every once in a while? Next is leading. Anytime you're going from one place to another place, especially one venue to the next venue, that's an opportunity to touch her. Um, you might go arm in arm, especially if it's like early in the date, it might be too soon to go hand in hand, and you just walk like this. Also just notice when you stick your arm out, <laughs> so I've had times where the girl doesn't even grab it. And that's okay, they just don't go arm in arm. Later on in the date, you might go hand in hand, you just grab her hand and you lead her like this, especially if it's across the street, because it shows safety, like you're taking care of her. So you're waiting for the light to turn green, and you might grab her hand like this. Notice how she holds your hand as well. If she's holding it very tight, then that's good, of course. And if she keeps holding your hand when you get to the other side of the road, that's a good indicator that she's comfortable holding hands, which she means she's comfortable with intimate things and might be a good time to go for a kiss. Also, if she interlocks your fingers like this, this is a lot more intimate than like this. I mean, you could hold you know, your sister's hand like this, but this type of hand holding is usually for a couple. 
which is another indicator that it could be a good time to go for a kiss. Next is massage, which of course is a lot more intimate and it needs to be in context. If you just start massaging her out of the blue, it's probably gonna be pretty weird. What I recommend is you take a massaging class, even if it's just one, one hour class, you'll pick up some tips and then you can mention it on the date at some point. And then if you go back to your place, maybe that night or on a later date, then you can give her a back massage, which can be very intimate and can lead to more intimate things. Sometimes I'll even massage the girl's hand on the day. We'll be kind of just flirting, maybe even holding hands, and I'll just start rubbing her hands like this. And we have a lot of nerve endings on our hands and on our fingers. So it can actually, even though it's just hands, it can actually be quite intimate. And then last, but definitely not least, is direct touching, where you show your interest in a direct manner which one way to do that is to go for a kiss. And I created an entire video on how to go for a kiss the right way and how to even get her to want you to kiss her. And just like any forms of escalation, always make sure she is comfortable. If she doesn't seem comfortable, do not proceed forward, okay? Take a few steps back. Now, a big reason that guys have trouble with initiating physical touch is because they lack confidence. And this is really one of the biggest reasons that guys don't have the success that they want with women and dating and really all parts of their life. So I created an entire cheat sheet that gives you 18 different ways that are super simple, things that you could do that just take a few seconds every single day that will increase your confidence and are scientifically proven to help you overcome fear and get the results, not only with women and dating, but with other parts of your life as well. So make sure to download that. There's a link down in the description and there'll be a link in just a second to the right of the screen. And if you want to be mentored by me or my teammates, then make sure to check out our coaching schedule down in the description, as well as apply for a free breakthrough session where we can jump on the phone, figure out what's not working for you right now and how to solve that in the fastest, most efficient way possible. So check that out, man, because it's free. Take advantage. Click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Click that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. Hit the like button if you like this video. I really appreciate it. And leave a comment down below letting me know which one of these is your favorite and do you have any ways of touching that you think work really well for you. Maybe other guys can learn from it. Let's all help each other out. My name is Matt Artisan from The Attractive Man and I'll see you in the next video.